bit better performance than a couple nights ago? Yeah, I thought just our, our focus was much better. You know, our uh, our energy, our focus was was much better. I uh, uh, tell you what, the, uh, just watching Carolina play. You know, they played a real hard game last night, and and uh, Kirch got them playing real fast. And we talked about that before the game. They forced you to play a fast game because they come out as you come out with you with two guys. They got the pressure on the puck. They don't uh, don't give you much room out there. So. Um, we knew we, we were going to have our hands full, and uh, uh, obviously, uh, you know, we got through the first period and got a little bit of lead. And I thought we we, we did okay in the second. After about the first five minutes, I thought they came real hard, and we couldn't get out of our end, and uh, didn't really handle that very well. And then, as the period went on, we got a little bit better. Five games without a power play goal, and you catch four tonight. Yeah, it, it's the ebb and flows of the of the season. I think we got away from. A little bit of our, our, our work ethic, a little bit of our execution, all those little details that you need, and then you need a little bit of puck luck. Uh, and um, you know, tonight we had a little bit of, of all of the three. We had a little bit of uh, work ethic, we had a little bit of execution, and we had a little bit of puck luck. So, you know, it, it power play was it, from that standpoint was was made a big statement tonight coming back uh, after a little bit of a dry spell. I think we were over for 16 over that spot of games on my hat. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's just the you know, what happens in the season sometimes. Sort of a, sort of a classic Hornquist night too. Yeah, the horny, the horny was. Uh, I was asking if people get their hats back, you know, and it, <laughs> you know, um, but uh, yeah, yeah, Horny was uh, was really strong. I mean, he makes his, his living in getting in those dirty areas, and uh, I mean, usually, uh, you know, on, on Fisher's goal, he was a big. On the power play, he was he was huge on that. Uh, you know, went to the net hard, and, and you know, he got his own goals. And, and um, he was just that's that's Hornquist. You know, he's he's a you know sort of Thomas Holmstrom type type guy who he can really make it hard on on uh, on a goaltender. And I I knew with uh, them putting in Peters, who's a, a guy that hasn't uh, played a lot this year, but his, his save percentage was outstanding. I think he's a, he's a good young goaltender. We really, I really felt that because he didn't get a lot, he hasn't got a lot of action. That we really had to get some some uh, net presence on him. And, and Hornquist really was was very effective at, uh, at that tonight. Was it a good lift for your captain to come in and score a goal so quickly? Yeah, you know, Webb's is uh, he's got the big shot, and you know, I thought last game, which is, you know, I should I should have knew a lot better. Uh, you know, we played really well when Webb's was out, and then he came back last game, and we. You know what happens a lot of times when you get one of your top players back. Everybody just exhales and said, "Okay, you know, Webbs is back, and, and he'll take care of things." Well, it's still a team game, and I think our our effort level and our focus level wasn't as strong as it needed to be last game and, uh, to beat the Dallas Stars. So I thought we had a much better focus. And you know, tonight we had a great. You know, I mean, there's a lot of energy in the building. Your crowd was great. I think that was what eight straight sellouts. Now that's that's fantastic, uh, and so we were able to really come up with a real good push, and uh, that was that was good. Shuffled the lines too. Is that for this game, or you just kind of felt like they needed to be changed? Uh, yeah, them? just I think sometimes they just need to be changed. You know, there's certain guys that sort of went dry. There's certain lines that sort of just they were working hard, but there was no no results. And sometimes you just tweak them a little bit, and uh, and they get a little, I don't want to say new energy. You know, and uh, you know, an example of that it would be like uh, Craig Smith. Uh, you know, playing on the wing. And, you know, he didn't score a whole lot since I put him on the right the wing, and I put him back in the middle, and lo and behold, he gets a goal tonight. So, you know, sometimes just changing their 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 outlook a little bit and, and, and moving people around sometimes works. Sometimes it doesn't. And in, in, in a couple instances, it did. I mean, uh, there's a couple guys like Hornquist had you know one goal in 12 games, I think. And, and uh, you know tonight he you know he was all over it. He could have had four or five. You know he was all over the net. So um, I, I just thought there was a, it was a pretty good effort. Uh, Smitty got off the schneid a little bit because of the goal. So uh, I thought our top guys were, were pretty good tonight. You know you got Fisher scored. Uh, you know Leggy and uh, Leggy and Marty got assists and, and guys like that, which were you know they got a little bit dry here in the last little while. And but that Colin Wilson was good, was good coming back. Uh, from being out for a while, so uh, a lot of good positives. I, you know, I, I wish we could have just, you know, 
good, just did a better job for Texas uh, in the end. They had a lucky goal on the second one, and their power play went off uh, Ellis's uh, uh, rear end, I think. And um, you know, I just uh, I thought Texas made some really key saves when the game was still not in doubt. Uh, putting Ellis in to help the power play. Was that one it, well, it was two things. Um, a um, he has played pretty well, and it would help the power play. But, it, but more than anything, he's defended pretty well. And we felt that uh, it really got to take a look at, at him. Uh, the reason we, you know, it's just like the reason we sent John Blum is we just want him to keep playing right now. Um, and we just sort of got to sort this out. The young guys, have, we've got, we're, we're blessed to have some young guys that are, um, I think, going to have some pretty good careers here. Uh, at the same time, we got to sort of get the see what we have for a mix so that uh, going forward here um, we know which what decision to make and we want to keep everybody playing. What are your thoughts on the kind of no realignment? Oh, my thoughts? Well, I, I, uh, the biggest thing for me or the biggest disappointment is probably, you know, I think everybody from, from the teams, but more importantly the fans, I think we're really excited about that. And then all of a sudden it's getting, you know, put on hold. So. The losers of that are really the fans, uh, you know, and I wish the, the PA would probably change their mind and let them just let it happen. And, and, and I, I mean, it's the fans that pay the game, pay the, pay the bills, and, and uh, you want to see the top stars in the league. You want to see everybody, I think, a balanced schedule and the way they had it was a, was a good solution uh, you know, for what they had. So uh, we'll let people that higher up decide that. And if it is what it is, we'll, we'll stay in a very tough uh, central division. Fisher, Fisher with uh, <clears throat> three, three assists on the power play tonight. Can you talk about what he brought to that unit tonight? Well, he he, he was he was he was pretty strong. I mean, he got a little bit lucky on his goal because he got a you know second whack at it. But um, you know, we need Fish to produce a little bit. I, I'm putting him in a little bit of a checking role. Uh, I put Kostichin and, and Dirac with him for an offensive push as well, and. Um, you know, I, I want to see him produce. He, he's capable of producing, and uh, just tie, just sort of tightening up his overall game would really be uh, where we want to get to. And but tying that up is, is the offensive part as well as the defensive part. Defensive part. All right. Have a good uh, weekend. Thank you.